Up next, also, we'll have a special art show for you. Stay with us. Well, Long Island Artist is taking an off-the-wall approach to a lost art. It involves a six-foot scaffold and a lot of creativity. News 12's Rosemary Gomez has more in this week's Friday feature. Bonnie Syracuse says she's always had a fantasy about playing Michelangelo. And at the age of 28, the great Nick artist is reaching for her dreams by painting ceilings modeled after some of the world's great masters. I was in Italy two summers ago, and I was in Vatican City, and I saw some really beautiful paintings. And um, that's where I originally drew my inspiration, but I had no idea that two years later I would be, be also doing ceilings like that. Cusa began painting murals for Long Island businesses, and it wasn't long before she began doing private homes. Like the great Michelangelo, Syracuse lies on her back as she paints a masterpiece, sometimes for nine-hour stretches. It's very concentrated a type of work, and it's like, I don't know, I guess it's very meditative. I, I, it's very hard to describe because I'm just so caught up in it. The artist bases her designs on Roman architecture and claims to be able to take an ordinary room and transform it to another place in time. It's like traveling without getting an airline ticket. You know, you could be anywhere in your dreams, right in the room, and, and people get that feeling, and that's the kind of power it has. A collection of Syracuse's other creative works are on display at the Port Washington Library, but she says she would really like to be recognized for her ceilings. It's a lost art, and I, and I really think it would be nice for it to come back. I, I really feel that's, you know, that's when they knew how to paint. In Great Neck, I'm Rosemary Gomez, News 12, Long Island. It takes her several months to do one room, but she says you really can't rush the art.